Marvel Studios has released the final trailer for The Marvels, which of course is releasing worldwide this week. And if you just pay attention and know what you're looking for, you will be able to spot a tease for the X-Men slash the Mutants. So with the latest trailer for the Marvels, hoping to drum up hype so people will go see the film and bring up that box office, which of course we've talked about in the past, isn't exactly where most people thought it would be or maybe even should be. It's very clear that Marvel is tossing a lot into this final push for marketing. So is it at all surprising that they're leaning more into some of the rumor, speculation, and the bigger multiverse factor that we've heard about, well, for years now in relation to this film being a factor in that whole story? I don't think it's surprising, but it does seem a little desperate as I talked about in another video. Whatever the case is, the latest tease for the X-Men is definitely going to drum up a little bit more hype, I would assume. So, during the trailer, there is some very rapid scenes that move real quick, like we're talking a second each. And one of them, as you can see right here, has Monica just quickly running by and covering slash obscuring the screen behind her. But, you know what they say, the devil is in the details. So that's why we got to take a little bit of a closer look. And something interesting appears. Here is the X-Men logo. Again, there it is in the flesh. We can see it. It's the traditional standard depiction of the X in the circle and everything like that. This isn't the first time we've seen this, as we recently saw in Secret Invasion, in one of the books talking about, uh, well, newly discovered genes and human evolution. And it was one of the books that Nick Fury's wife had on her shelf that she actually wrote. So clearly tying things together in a very interesting way and sort of pushing this narrative that there's things happening behind the scenes that we're obviously not privy to yet. But if you just pay attention, the X gene is, well, in full force swing in the MCU. I mean, Kamala's already one. Chances are they're looking at her DNA here and that just pops up. Maybe it's even brought up in the film. We don't know. But it's interesting that it's now openly just appearing everywhere. You know, mutants, they're around. You know, She-Hulk, we saw plenty of them. So it'll be definitely interesting to see what happens after this film and whether any of this actually contributes to it. If you guys have been following the leaks, which I've been talking about, there's clearly a little bit more going on than meets the eye, but we're trying to avoid spoilers for that. 